when you're trying to get your child to cooperate with you and they are just not, and more words is not effective, here are some nonverbal positive supports that you can add. Walking somewhere, hand on the small of the back. Here we go. First jacket, then shoes. Okay, the extra supports are about sequencing that I've just added, and I'm using melodic intonation. I'm pointing. I may need to get closer. I may need to say, first jacket. I may need to take my kid and tap them on their shoulder and say, first jacket. I may need to reduce the number of jackets hanging here. If they're getting kind of frozen, that's another kind of extra support. So maybe I'm only going to hang these ones, and I'm going to put these somewhere in storage because now it's going to be easier for my child to see what they're going to choose from. Visual supports. I can draw a picture of my child, like what they should look like when they're dressed. And then I'm going to refer to the picture. Wait a second. Do we have this? Do we have that? Do we have this? Okay. I can also take a, some post-its, keep some post-its in your back pocket and I can whip those out. First, we're going to the post office and then we're going to the library. I'm using the visual to make it like, this is how you know what we're doing because my speaking is not enough. Consider for yourself when you're working on a big work projects, what is the what are the tools that help you be successful? Post-its, calendars, dings, working with a friend. It's going to be a little different for everyone and so are the extra supports that you layer onto your child. What works for your